Hey guys, it's Mike Carter here from Mike's Office. Today we're going to cover the main reason why we use Excel, which is to display values calculated from data. So in order to do that, we need to start from the very bottom and get sort of the basic operations that we use to calculate values and also the functions that you can use as a shortcut. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. All right, so we'll start off with our Excel operations. We'll start with addition. So whenever we're doing a formula or using our operations to complete a formula, you have to type in equals. And you normally use addition in Excel when you hear total or the sum of. So we want the total of these two cells. So we're going to click on the first cell, press shift and press plus. And just this, the plus symbol should be um, just to the left of your backspace button. And then we're going to click this cell and then press enter and it adds it for us. So if you have um, a, a situation where you need to get the total, you can add the total like that. Subtraction, so we're going to type in equal again. Now subtraction we use if you see something that says we want the difference. So that's how you know you're using subtraction. So I want the difference between these two cells. So I'm going to press equal, click on this cell first, minus this cell and now I've got the difference of those two cells so the subtraction and it equals 6. Multiplication multiplication is a little different because we're used to writing it like an X so when we press equal there's um, the star above the 8 key you would use that to multiply so in a situation where you would use this if you hear of so if you think about it like if you're buying dinner and you want to tip 15 percent of what you paid you would multiply the 15% by whatever your meal came to. So that's how you can tell when you use multiplication if there's an of. So equals, so 90 uh, dollars, say, time of 4% or something like that. So, so again, press shift and the multiplication star and that cell and press enter and we get our value. And the last one for our operations. We're going to do division. You know you're using division when it says each. A lot of the times when we say each or per, uh, we use division. So we're going to um, click on this cell first. It's just a forward slash. And then this cell. And click enter and it'll do the division for us. Now if you have a number like this and you want to keep it to uh, two decimal places, you can just go to the number formatting right up here. So the number group, increase decimal or decrease, and we want to decrease the decimal to two. And now it just rounds up to the closest um, two decimal places. Okay, so now that we've got our operations, uh, we're going to do functions. And a function is, named, is a named operation that replaces the arithmetic expression in a formula. So instead of adding the total for all of these, I can just use a function called the sum function. So that looks like this, so sum, and then if we can click on sum, it'll open the bracket for us. We can click arrange, so we could take the sum of, let's say if we want to get the sum of test one or test two, but that doesn't make sense. So let's say the test, this is a, <laughs> this is a fake test scores I've used um, without students' names. So if we want to get the, let's say the test one was out of 100, test two was out of 100. Now we want to get their total out of 200 we would go equal sum, click on this cell, or you can highlight the range, and then close the bracket and press enter. And that's how we use our sum function. Uh, the nice thing about functions, if you have a chart like this, you can also copy them down to do the exact same thing. So now, just make sure, as we see here, this is equal sum of this range, and that saved us a lot of time. So if we had about 13 different marks in here, or quizzes, tests, assignments, you wouldn't want to be saying add, uh, pressing plus, 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 and so on. Uh, you could save a lot of time if you just do equal sum, open the bracket, highlight the range, and then close the bracket again. It would do the same thing as doing plus, 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 plus. Now you can also do, um, there's also, f there's tons of functions in Excel, but these are the most widely used. We can also get the student's average, so their average mark, uh, equals Average and once we start typing it in, it'll select it for you. Okay, so we want their average out of the two tests, 
So open bracket, close bracket, and it'll give you their average out of 100. So we can also copy that down and get everyone's average. All right, you can also count. So we can count the number of students who took test one. So let's say, okay, we wanna find out how many or how many tests did you write that year? But let's do, we'll do the student count. And like we said down there, it should be 21. Oh, sorry, I forgot to count. Bracket. And we've given them the range. So there's 21 students. Okay, it would be the same if we copied that down. Now, if we did, watch what happens. There's a different function for count if we're counting text. Watch this, it won't work. I'll show you what happens. Okay, count will only count numbers, so just be aware of that. Okay, it says we have zero. But if we do uh, switch the formula to count A, count A, I think the A means anything. I'm not too sure if that's actually what it means, but count A will count anything. So it kind of makes sense. A, anything, and then 21. So if you're counting text, or other symbols, you might want to use count A instead of count, but if it's numbers, you can just use count. Now we want the, let's say we want the lowest mark uh, on test one. So that would be our minimum value, so minimum. Yeah, our min value. So what was our lowest mark on test one? So min, we'll highlight test one. Okay, 29 uh, out of 100 was our lowest mark. And let's find our highest mark. So this will give us our highest number. The maximum value will give us our highest number. And let's see, the maximum for test one would be 98. Now, if you wanted to bring in subtraction, um, or the, we'll call it the range. So what was the difference? Again, uh, just like we can use an operation. So the difference between the highest marks and our lowest mark would be the range. So we could just do this minus that. And that would be our range. So super wide range, 69 marks in between the lowest mark and the highest mark. So I hope that helps with uh, understanding how to calculate values in Excel in different ways. And I hope also hope that helps you um, really master Excel and become an Office Pro. If you like that video and you want to see more just like it, remember to subscribe and thanks for watching.